was reading this morning in the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna, and he was talking about Buddha and recognizing him as the one of the ten incarnations. And <clears throat> he just said this wonderful little paragraph where he was talking about buddhi, which is our intelligence or uh, our discerning uh, function in our minds, just discerning between true and untrue, real and unreal, right and wrong, those kinds of things. And he said, when that buddhi is merged in bodha, B-O-D-H-A in, in English letters anyway, bodha, which is consciousness, that when buddhi uh, merges with bodha, you get buddha, enlightenment, freedom. And I got curious about uh, that and was, I am very interested in kind of sussing that out, looking into it some more. And that led me to the inspired talks by uh, Swami Vivekananda and this wonderful, uh, just just uh, three paragraphs that I, as I read them, oh, I just felt such a refreshment, such a sweetness. And so I wanted to share these three paragraphs with you. It's uh, in Inspired Talks and the day that he gave this lesson uh, in upstate New York was Saturday, July 20th, 1895. Perception is our only real knowledge or religion. Uh, I, I, I sat when I read that for a moment and just enjoyed that. That religion isn't in the head. It isn't a series of thoughts and, and whatnot, a series of beliefs, but that it's our perception that we have only ever seen the divine, though we have called it many things. Talking about it for ages will never make us know our soul. There is no difference between theories and atheism. In fact, the atheist is the truer man. Every step I take in the light is mine forever. When you go to a country and see it, then it is yours. We have each to see for ourselves. Teachers can only bring the food, as it were. We must eat it and be nourished. Argument can never prove God, save as a logical conclusion. It is impossible to find God outside of ourselves. Our own souls contribute all the divinity that is outside of us. We are the greatest temple. The objectification is only a faint imitation of what we see within ourselves. Concentration of the powers of the mind is our only instrument to help us see God. If you know one soul, your own, you know all souls, past, present, and to come. The will concentrates the mind. Certain things excite and control this will, such as reason, love, devotion, breathing. The concentrated mind is a lamp that shows us every corner of the soul. There is so much <laughs> there that that could be weeks of conversations and lessons, but I leave that for you to do on your own. This is our food from the teacher. It's up to us to eat it, to digest it, and to be nourished by it. <laughs>